Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we have a black art. Cast a spell. No. This whiskey from Brigladi is called Black Art version 04.1 49.2% ABV. Um the tin tube shows the signs of black art and uh, this black art is uh, transferred to the head distiller of Brickletti, the former head distiller Jim McEwen, who used black art to create this whiskey. So this whiskey might be from the devil and not from heaven. Uh, is black art converting into angel's share? I don't know. <laughs> Um, here they say Black Art 1990, edition 04.1, 23 aged, aged years. The fourth release showcasing the spellbinding craft of head distiller Jim McEwen, another beguiling and complex spirit, a mystery of distiller and Cooper's art. Indeed, a work of alchemy the dark secrets of which Jim will not reveal. Ah, he has to reveal his secrets because Brigletti was sold in 2012 to Remy Contour. And the working contact will say, tell them. <laughs> Unpeated Isla single malt scotch whiskey, distilled, matured and bottled, unchill filtered and coloring free at Brigletti Distillery, Isle of Isla, Scotland, produ produ product of Scotland. We believe terror matters, we believe in Isla, we believe in people, we believe in authenticity, provenance and traceability, we believe in slow, we believe in challenging convention, we believe in the soul of the artisan. Blackguard 4. There have had been uh, three former bottlings and the last one, the three, has been matured in cask of different countries and uh, I tasted uh, sherry and port and of course American oak and here they tell that this whiskey <coughs> is uh, matured in American oak and French oak which is not very popular to mature in French oak. Um, there might be uh, a possibility that this is a, uh, a finishing in French oak and the original whiskey was matured in American oak, but I do not know for sure. Um, the old stock of Brugletti uh, is becoming less and less and 23 years old is quite an old whiskey for Brugletti. And uh, there had been a, uh, a period of mothballing of the distillery from 1994 to the year 2000. <clears throat> so there is quite a time where no whiskey was produced. So I think we will see the floor of the warehouses very soon at Brickletti. And if you're very interested in the old whiskies, you should have one of those bottles. They will be available on the shelves over the summer of 2014. They will be very expensive, 230 pounds, 260 euros, 300 dollars. This is the, uh, the value of this bottle. Value, we will see. The selling price, of course. It's uncolored, so the color is real, and this looks a little lighter than the version, uh, the version three, which was distilled in 1989, uh, and which had, I think, uh, a little bit more of sherry maturation in it. The 49.2% ABV, the alcohol isn't really strong. It's covered by all the aromas from the casks for the two decades, for more than two decades of maturation. 
Resin. Rich resin. Strong, deep honey. This wild honey, not the very sweet one, but the more spicy, heavy honey. And a little bit of citrus. Citrus, yeah. No oranges. There is a little, only very little spiciness in it, and I'm not able to detect this strong oak, I would suggest, from a 23-year-old maturation. I think this is a finishing. This is an, an old American oak, uh, many, several, several, there are not too many bottles of this kind. So several old casks, American oak casks, and then probably refill because the vanilla is not very strong and then filled over in French oak and I would suggest fresh French oak and no, not wine barrels, no, no brick barrels. Yeah, the resins, probably French wine, brick barrels. Yeah. Which coat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not really. Have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Boah. Strong and intense in your mouth, on your tongue. Ah, you have to gulp again. Oh, very intense. Warming. Chocolate. Sweet. Mm, more spice from the wood. No bitterness at all. Exotic fruits. And long and warming and rewarding finish. Oh, what a roller coaster ride. But the taste, uh, the nose, suggests that there will be a strong <laughs> feeling in your mouth. Resin, yeah. Rich, dark. And a little becoming colder in my nose, perhaps a little bit of anise seed. Yeah, and a little alcohol. Alcoholic note now. Oh, I have to taste again. Absolutely wonderful feeling in your mouth <laughs> and you do not want to swallow it. And then sweetness, mouth watering a lot. Ah, oh, you have to swallow one, two times. Wow, what a whiskey. This is one of the four actual available single malt whiskies from Brickletti. I got this bottle uh, from the owner and uh, thank you very much for it. And uh, I like it very, very much. And if you're interested in old Brickletti single malt whiskies, you have to look for this bottle. There won't be many more to come in the upcoming years. Thank you for watching whiskey.com and stay tuned and if you like this video give me a thumbs up. <laughs>